What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. We are out here on my boat today. We have a great weather window for two days. So Chase and I shot out here. Our target species today is gonna be uh, the halibut. So we're just drifting all sorts of different depths trying to find where there's a lot of bait congregated at a certain depth and just kind of box in certain areas and try to find some halibut. But that's the plan, so stay tuned. Should be a fun one. Oh, that was a bite on that rod. What's that? I think that one got bit just now. Stand by. See, watch it be the beer luck. It's got, yeah, dude, it's got something. Something's got to change, man. You just, uh... Nice. It's the beer. Beer luck, baby. Let's go. It goes heavy. Sick. There you go, bud. Hell yeah. Beer luck, baby. Literally, it's... I did just get bit right there. I want to say I could trigger fish, but it could be halibut. Yeah, angry trigger fish are a really aggressive halibut, but we're going to keep working down, just drifting, try to find a spot of halibut. That was dope. Come on, drop a loop rod. Yeah, right on. Yeah, the, the rod holder bites are, are not our friend here. Oh my god, they're so bad. Why do you let him eat it, dude? That's one, huh? <laughs> Giving me real, real nice butt vibes. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Flat kind vibes, dude. I almost put it in the rod holder, but I, I felt it get bit, and I was like, wait a second. <laughs> oh, nice carpet. Oh, dude, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, he might be too big for the. Uh... Yeah. Nah, I got it. I got sure? it. I got it. That's a good one. That's a really good one. <laughs> Second drop. Woo. Finally got one. Yes, that one's definitely legal. So sick. It's like one of those like all brown ones too. Another beautiful specimen, guys. Dude, dude, just instant bite as soon as instant it hit bite. the bottom. That was so rad. Oh, that one got him with the front hook. Well, I did let him eat it for about 10 minutes. Nice. Look at that. Nice one. Look at the colors on that one, man. That's pretty cool. Little baby white sea bass. There's this guy. All right, bye bye. Good to hear. There he goes. Bye. I can't tell if it's little or big. There's a nine foot leader. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's a little shorty. Again, these are such cool fish. You can just tell how camouflaged they are when they lay flat on the bottom like that. Is that a bite? Not Chase got bit. But they just lay flat on the bottom like that, waiting to ambush. They'll sit next to rocks, out in the mud, in the sand. You can find these things anywhere, any depth. It's pretty, pretty cool. Ambush predators, but extremely aggressive. Again, this one's pretty short. I'm just letting them calm down, then I'll get that hook out of them. Whoa! Took your bait. All right, got that stinger hook out. Let this little guy go. Yeah, he did. See you, bud. Straight back down to the bottom. Chase, check it out, dude. We got Jack Sparrow over here. Got the flag up? Yeah. So we are back at my house now. I'm just gonna run through cleaning one of these halibut for you guys in case you haven't seen any of my other halibut videos or just enjoy watching them be filleted. But here are two of them laid out just so you guys can see how awesome that camouflage really is. When they're just sitting down there in the different like little waves or in between the rocks, it's almost impossible for an unsuspecting bait fish to see this guy. When I'm diving, sometimes all you see is just this V from their head and the two, the two eyes sticking out. So their entire body will be completely buried in the sand and they'll actually use these fins right here they kind of wig like wiggle back and forth 
and they like wiggle themselves down into the sand and let that surge just kind of bury them and they'll sit in there and just wait to ambush so awesome awesome fish definitely one of my top three favorite fish that we have here in Southern California but this is the underside all white so that's the side that's sitting down in the sand and let me see if these ones are actually opposites or not yeah they are that's cool so if you look here you can see that this one's jaw is oriented on this side of his face with the eyes on top here and this one is a complete opposite so his jaw goes this way eyes on this side um, and I think the reason that is is when they're babies they're actually like regular fish swimming vertically and then at some point um, in their, their life their life cycle their eyes literally like switch to one side or the other and then it becomes a flat fish like that but you can see right there that not every halibut has its jaw on the same side of its body I guess so this one opens up and check out those teeth been on ice overnight so they're a little a little cold but that one's mouth opens that way see those gnarly teeth no sardine getting away from that guy but that one's that one's mouth opens that direction this one goes the opposite check that out such cool fish but anyways I'm gonna run through one of these guys for you and then We'll um, get them all cleaned up. I'm gonna wrap them in paper towels, get them in the fridge. Again, I really recommend wrapping your fish in paper towels. Sucks out any of the extra blood or moisture. Um, do not rinse them off with fresh water. Um, it really ruins the meat, makes it really mushy. So just wrap it, paper towels, put it in the fridge so you're ready to eat. And depending on the fish and how cold you kept it, it'll keep for five, six, seven days in the fridge if you change those paper towels daily. If not, get a nice vacuum sealer and this, this will last months. All right, I know the lighting's not, not, the, uh, not the greatest and I am by myself, so I'm gonna do my best to kinda make sure you guys can see what's going on. But there's several different ways to fillet out. I've seen people go and start from the top and go all the way down to the bottom and take it off in one big slab. Or you can do the line up the middle and kinda cut towards the outside. Um, it's all personal preference when it comes to those those cuts but for me I do like to go straight down the middle uh, you can see his, his lateral line kind of right here on the underside it's a lot easier on the white right side you can see it's a very defined line right here but on their top side it is a little harder to see but the, it kind of bends in a little right here so you want to take a nice sharp fillet knife all the way down to his spine Yep. Make sure it's separated from the spine on other sides. Like any other fish, go ahead and trace right along that, that fin there. And you can hear it hitting the bones. So that's how you know you got a good cut going. With a nice beautiful fish like this, they are pretty highly sought after. So I definitely always take my time. I'm trying to make sure I got every little bit of fish off of here. It does get a little easier once you've gotten the part of the flay kind of lifted off. You can start to see in there a little better. You can also work back from the tail here. So as you can see, I've disconnected it from there already. And then working back, from the spine, I'm just gliding that knife down along right here. There's the belly portion, kind of cut above and around any of those guts there. there. 
our first chunk. Same thing on the other side. Like I was saying, once once you have removed one fillet, it makes it a lot easier to get the other side off. Halibut is so cold. The meat is so cold. I kept him. Uh, I have a brand new kill bag. Kept him on ice overnight. So technically, he's been on ice for almost two days now. So that meat is nice and cold uh, to the touch. But look at that delicious white flesh. Halibut is so tasty. And there you have the entire front side, or I guess top side there. It might be a little too small to get the cheek, but I always like to try. It's like a little scallop, super tender. There you go, literally like a little perfect, like, little bite-sized scallop, but that's really, really tender right there, that, that cheek meat on the halibut. And I'm gonna portion this up. Ready, four, one, two, four, yeah. And the little steaks. I leave this one a little longer because I usually use this one for like fish tacos or something just because it's so thin and that cooks so much faster than this side or than any of these steaks, but personal preference. So we got four steaks. Trim the bloodline a little if you want to. I've noticed that halibut don't have a giant bloodline compared to a lot of our other fish. And then right onto the paper towel. Roll those bad boys up. Throw them in your Ziploc bag or grocery bag and into the fridge. All right, so I'm gonna go through and finish trimming this one up, get that on uh, the paper towels and in the fridge, cleaning this guy here, and then I will see you guys in the kitchen. And for tonight's dinner with that halibut, I'm actually letting Rachel take the reins here. No. Yeah. As you guys can see, we have this weird contraption right here. I think it's called an air fryer. Yeah, it is what it's called. I have no experience with using one of these, but Rachel has a recipe that we're gonna try on the halibut. And but you... I've never had a halibut, so. She's never eaten time. halibut. That's yeah. crazy to me. Um, we'll see how you like it, first of all. But this recipe you made with salmon? Yes. Right? And you said it was delicious. delicious. Amazing. So we're going to let her take the reins. She's obviously seasoning up some broccoli right here. Again, I've never used an air fryer. I don't think I've ever eaten anything out of, out of an air fryer. So. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. But we do have some artichokes as well. So what we're going to do is we got the broccoli. We got our two pieces of halibut thawing out in room temperature water. Never, ever thaw your fish out in hot water, room temperature or cold water. But obviously vacuum sealed, two pieces right there, portioned it up. And then I'm going to boil these artichokes for probably, I don't know, what, 10, 15 minutes and then finish them, finish them off, cut them in half, put them in the Parmesan, that's what we the need to add yeah, the, to this too, thank you. Parmesan, we're gonna make the Parmesan artichokes and uh, cut them in half, throw them in the oven because it's <laughs> kind of our favorite thing. Yeah, and also this is a special Parmesan broccoli. Wow, yeah, okay. We like that. Doesn't, get out of here. <laughs> You're supposed to give the recipe. I know, but if it's not good. Tell us about the sauce. Okay, the sauce is honey. Okay, we got it right here. It's honey, soy sauce, garlic powder. You can do real garlic, but you need a lot more of real garlic. They usually recommend just garlic powder. 
that's what it is. Who's they? The recipe makers. <laughs> Internet. <laughs> Pinterest. All right, so honey, soy sauce, and garlic powder. That's it. Yeah. Very simple. Love yeah. it. It's like a three ingredient sauce. Simple okay. point. And you said we're gonna marinate it. Yeah. yeah so we're gonna have to marinate the fish. It looks. It. What would you do? Is it like half? It's half honey, more, half it's more soy. honey, I think, than, than soy. Yeah. Yeah, but, you can tell it's still a little, little thick. Little yeah, but that's the whole point. So then what we're going to do is we're going to marinate it for 30 minutes. Okay. And then half. You take half, marinate. The other half, you drizzle, and then you air fry. Cool. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to try the air fryer. I've heard, I've honestly heard really amazing things, specifically with cooking fish in the air fryer. So Thanks give it a yeah. shot. There's our two halibut fillets. I don't know what, what would you say that is, like eight ounces? Yeah. Marinating in that sauce Rachel made, and they've been in here for about almost 30 minutes, right? But what I did was I, I did put them in that room temperature water for like 10, 15 minutes. They weren't completely thawed out yet, but once we put them in the marinade, just left them sitting out, and they thawed out perfectly. Best way to do it right there. But sauce actually looks really good. Yeah, it does. Excited to try it. Are you excited, Enzo? Are you scared of the GoPro? Mm -hmm. Flicking it around? Yeah. It's How like long was that in there? What? Four minutes. <laughs> Four minutes? That was almost done, huh? Yeah, I, it, it cooks like pretty quickly. Yeah. You need yeah. another minute? Mm, I'm gonna do one more minute. One minute, one minute. And then we got our butter, garlic butter right here. I did add some salt and uh, pepper. Now it's gonna go right on top of these bad boys. Just by the spoonful. That's so good. Broccoli's done. Wow. Fish is going in next. Yes. That smells amazing. So you fish do veggies first. Yeah, veggies first. So it can cool down, right? You want the fish to be hot. Yes. Because you don't have the two, the two one here, right? Just one at a time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's just. So what I like to do is like. They tell you to put all of it on before it cooks. I like to just save a little bit, just a little bit for after. Yep. It's extra flaky. Put it in. Oh, fine. Okay. Start. It looks delicious. I like honey glaze. Mm. Yeah. Alright. No. Can't go wrong with a little sesame seed. <laughs> I love how like the little holes that they come out of are the exact same size as the sesame seed, so per shake you get three. Sesame seeds that come out. <laughs> this is a lot of pressure. What Which if is I don't crazy like it? Wow, already. Look at. Okay, first of all, let's see that. Kind of. Let's take a look. It's ridiculous. Nice and flaky. Classic yeah. halibut. Okay, ready? Wow. <laughs> Way better than the salmon that I tried this recipe with. Quality fish, we're here for it. <laughs> we support it, now you have to try it. Okay. Hey, you like wow. it, so yeah, no, now you try it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is classic halibut, nice white flaky flesh. So good. Hmm. 
No? That is not what I expected. That like that the honey on the like the outside literally like forms like a crust and I think it honestly keeps a lot of the moisture in the fish because halibut can be a very very dry fish if you overcook it even slightly. But I think doing the honey glaze whatever the sauce is on top really does keep that flavor in there. And as for the air fryer, I'm actually kind of I've heard a lot of good things about the air fryers, but I've never tried it before. I might need to buy one. Because mm. mm, that's really good. Yeah, we'll give Enzo a little piece. Sit. Up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, he's eating it on his hind little leggies. How was that? Good? There's a little piece left for you. Anyways, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, Please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the videos. Like this, share it with your friends, leave some comments down below. If you guys have any other halibut recipes, we have a bunch of it because we caught a lot of halibut. So we got a lot of vacuum seal halibut that we're gonna be eating for the next couple weeks here. But um, thank you guys so much and we'll see you on the next one.